And uh, there's some pictures we want to show you. I want you, Freddie, I, I want you to just kind of share that testimony because um, I know it happened, something dramatic happened in the month of May, at the end of May. And uh, we got a call from your wife right away. And, and uh, can you just kind of share what happened and what took place? June 2nd, guys, June 2nd, I suffered a major stroke. And the pictures that we have up here on the left, right in the middle here, the other white part is basically the, the brain damage that happened. I had three strokes, and actually, um, you know, I'm just very thankful to be up here because the doctors, you know, this is what I wrote down, and I wanted to share this with you because it's so important to me. And um, June 2nd, 2019, I wrote down, the devil whispered in my ear, you are not enough to withstand this storm. Hmm. But I know that he was wrong. Why? Because Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things to Christ who gives me strength. And today I'm here to tell you a story about my life that changed forever. I thought it would change forever, but it didn't because I thank you to my wife, my kids, you know, my family here, everybody at the uh, life group that I have. You know what? I'm here to, to tell you guys that the devil's a liar. Amen. And this is the damage that I had. These are the pictures of me in the, in the hospital. They said I wouldn't walk. They said I wouldn't be able to uh, get out of there. Well, I walked out of the hospital. Oh, okay. so, so, Freddie, explain to us the so brain scan. The brain scan here that you see here is all the white part here basically is the damage that occurred to my brain. So that means that half of my side was paralyzed. But when they told me that, I know that I was sharing with Pastor Tommy that, you know what, I got a little bit of a hollow and I said, no, you're wrong. And you know what? I'm gonna. I knew that I was at peace when I was in the, in the hospital because I knew that God was with me the whole time. Amen. So I walked out of the hospital. I'm very grateful today to be, even be here. I, I wanted to share this because you know, 2020 is gonna be a different year. Y gracias a Dios, hermanos, estoy aquí con ustedes ahora. Le doy gracias a todos que me ayudaron, me apoyaron. Uh, muchas gracias por mi life group, por todas las hermanas, la hermana María Martínez. ¿dónde está? <laughs> <laughs> muchas gracias. Toda la comida is awesome, guys. I'm telling you because look, the family that you have is here. This is your family, and um, it means so much to me to, to be a part of Temple Cavario because I I was a little, you know, travieso <laughs> and pastor and all. And I mean, por gracia de Dios estoy aquí, you know. Y por por la gracia de Dios yo estoy aquí diciéndoles a ustedes que Dios es grande. Right. Como dice la canción, Juan grande es mi Dios. That's right. So, so todo lo que ve aquí. So, doctor, this is the doctor. So, después de seis meses, regresas sí. a ver al doctor. So, so after six see. months, you came back to go see that doctor who did yeah. the brain surgery. So, I went to go see this the, is the surgeon. Doctor. Yes, this is my surgeon. And when I was there, the surgeon se me quedaba viendo. Y me dice, ¿cómo te llamas? Y digo, pues Alfredo Reyes. Y dice, pero tú eres el muchacho del hospital. Y digo, sí, ¿por qué? Y dice, tú debes de estar en, en silla de rueda. I go, no, you're wrong. <laughs> So, gracias a Dios, you know, so, so, de doy gracias porque, I mean, they couldn't believe that I was walking, talking, because of the brain damage that I have to my, to the brain, you know, and so people like that don't recover that fast. He goes, I don't know what you're doing, but I go, that's not me, it's God. There you go. Yeah. So, that's where, you know, I go, that is awesome. And so, when the doctor came out to see you after six months, this is the doctor that this performed the, the surgery, he looked at you and he said, Excuse me, I remember you told me, how did you get here or something, right? Yeah, so the doctor says, wait a minute, how did you get here? Because you know, I'm not supposed to be driving or anything like that. And I said, well, my wife, <laughs> I have my Uber. But pero, pero, you know, he, he goes, well, stand up for a minute. Because he didn't believe that I was actually, you know, standing and walking. Yeah. He goes, come here, take a couple steps. And for a minute there, I'm like, wait a minute, what? Why, why are you keep saying this to me? He says, because you're not supposed to be doing this. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, I seen the brain damage they have. He says, you're supposed to be in a wheelchair. I go, no, I'm not. God said no. That's right. And that's the way it is. And that's why today, guys, I'm so happy and grateful. You know, I know I have something to use. I finished my chapter of faith. And another cosa, you know, we have some prayer groups at the mañana. I was able to go to the men's retreat. That's right. I had that for todos los manitos trayendo. But it was awesome. So. God is good, and that's what I'm saying, guys. Focus on God. Put God first in your life, and you're going to see the changes. And God is going to give you the power and whatever. You know, I wrote some, some scriptures down. Philippians 4.13. And also another one here that I wrote down. Is, uh... Wow. 
And it's funny because you know the scriptures I heard in, in the chapter of faith, and uh, I wrote down a scripture here is, is Isaiah forty one ten, and it says, "Strengthen you and, and help you." Oh, God, no. oh fear, do not fear, because I am with you, for I am your God, and I will strengthen you and help you. Uh, thank you to uh, say thank you to my wife and kids. Yeah. Uh, that's you know what I'm telling you guys. This is a miracle. What you see right now is a, a Milwaukee miracle, and I thank you, God, because right. I'm here today and sharing with you guys. Right. All right, hey, Freddie, here. That's right. So, Freddie, right behind you, the doctor, when he saw you, he said you're a miracle. Yes. And can you put that quote up there? And look at this quote. Look at what. Read what you wrote. Right. Never there. lose hope. Just when you think it's over, God sends you a miracle. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Come on, give it up for the Lord. Freddie, there's a kid named Nicholas Tapia in the hospital, and they're going to do surgery on him. I own Nino que se llama Nicholas Tapia, bien, bien chiquito todavía, yo creo, dos o tres años de edad. Le van a hacer una uh, operación, le van a operar aquí de la uh, esophagus on his throat. And so we're going to pray a prayer. One of the first things we did, una de las primeras cosas que hicimos cuando Freddy salió del hospital, ya después de dos meses, fuimos a hacer una visita en el hospital para visitar a alguien más y orar por esa persona. Do you remember that, Mia? We went to the hospital yeah, yeah. to go visit you. She was laughing, having a good time. Look at her, she's here today. That's her birthday, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so let, let's, let's do that, let's do that. Let's, let's pray for Nicholas Tapia. Let's pray for Nicholas Tapia. I want you to lead a prayer for Nicholas Tapia. They're going to do a surgery on his throat. And we just want to pray for God to heal, to work through that, and to give him life. Amen. Lord, thank you for this evening, God. Thank you for Nicholas. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, he's healed. God, we pray for everybody here tonight, whether you're sick, whether you're not feeling so great, God. You know, the holidays are tough, God. But you know, God, you are amazing, Lord, because I know that you can do all things, and we can do all things to you guys. Lord, I pray for Nicholas, that you heal him, that he comes out of that hospital just the way I did, Lord. And I thank you for each and every one here, God. Thank you for our family, the church family we have. I love these guys, and just want to say thank you guys to everything in your precious name. Amen. Amen. I'm a little nervous, and thank you guys, Bill. <laughs> I was nervous trying to get in here. <laughs> so, thank you. God bless you. Thank you.